Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's take a look at how to use MobileMe to create your own website, but without using iWeb. So with MobileMe, you get your own space to create your own website. Now usually you would use iWeb to go and do this. It automatically hooks up with MobileMe and you can create a website with various pages, blogs, all sorts of things. But what if you don't want to use iWeb? What if you just want to use that space to just put up a quick little normal website and maybe you're used to programming HTML? Well, you can actually go and do this. Let me show you how. Okay, so assuming you've got MobileMe all set up, all you need to do is go to your iDisk, which is your complete area for storage inside of MobileMe. It includes everything that's part of MobileMe, but you have direct access to it. So go to Go and iDisk in Finder and choose My iDisk. And this will take you to your iDisk folder, which looks like it's on your computer, but in fact it's actually up on the internet at the me.com servers. Okay, so you'll see some similar things here to what you see on your computer. Things like documents folder, music pictures, that kind of thing. You'll even see a sites folder and that looks like it's where your website should be. And that's actually how the old .mac service used to work. But now with MobileMe it's actually in the web folder. If you click on that you'll find several folders inside, possibly depending upon what you've done with it already. In there there'll be a sites folder and this is your actual sites folder where your real web space for your mobile me account is located. Now it may be empty here I've got something in it because I've been using it already. Now in your web browser you can get to your own home page by going to web.me.com slash in your username. Now if there's nothing in there at all, not even an index.html page, you're going to get something that looks like this. So what we want to do is we want to create an index.html file that goes right in there. And we're going to do that by going in and working in text edit. And in text edit we're going to make sure we're in text mode, not rich text mode. If you look in format it says here make rich text so we know we're in the other side of things. We're in the plain text mode. We're going to go ahead and just put some text here. We're not even going to go ahead and worry about HTML at this point. And then we're going to save and we're going to go ahead and put this in the iDisk folder inside web inside sites and you're going to do that by clicking on the iDisk icon right here and then navigating to it and you're going to save it as index.html. Now when we go back here and reload the web page we'll find there's a little page we put there. Now we can go ahead and replace that with some proper HTML pages uh, with all the formatting and all the proper HTML headers and everything like that and you can go ahead and continue to build a website with more links and more things inside of it and build it your own way with raw HTML or using another tool and uploading the files to this space. Now you want to be careful because since this isn't the sanctioned way to go ahead and create websites inside of MobileMe, things can change. Like for instance, it used to be in the Sites folder, now it's in the Web slash Sites folder. So you want to keep up to date with things in MobileMe if you're going to go ahead and use the web space this way. But hopefully it should remain this way and these types of sites created like this should continue to work or at least work if you just maintain them. Another thing you might want to do is set up your own personal domain. So instead of going to web.me.com slash your username, you can actually go to a real domain name. And you can look at episode 204 of MacMost now for more information about how to do that. Hope you find this useful. Till next time, this is Gary Rosenzweig with MacMost Now.